Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access and remove the flywheel. This will vary from mower to mower, but as a general rule, you'll need to remove any covers, the starter assembly, oftentimes the blower housing, and maybe the fuel tank. On my lawnmower, the engine cover is secured with a screw and clip and some plastic brackets. Also need to remove the gas cap. Next, I'll remove the starter. Next, I'll remove the blower housing. Now I'll remove the ignition coil. I'll remove the wire from the spark plug. I'll remove the kill wire. And I'll remove the two bolts that secure the coil to the engine. Now I'll tie back the blade bale, which will release the brake from the flywheel. Now I'll remove the nut that secures the flywheel. There are several different ways you can remove the flywheel from your mower. You can use a three-jaw gear puller. You can use a kit like this, sometimes called a steering wheel puller or a harmonic balancer puller. With this kit, a center post screws into the bracket. The post sits on the crankshaft and then bolts go through the bracket and screw into holes on the flywheel. Some flywheels come pre-tapped. This flywheel isn't tapped. You'd have to first tap it in order to use a puller like this. A method I use almost exclusively when I'm working in the shop is a hammer and a screwdriver. I'll go ahead and demonstrate both the three-jaw puller and using a hammer and screwdriver to remove a flywheel. I'll place the puller onto the flywheel and the center post on the crankshaft. I'll tighten it by hand, making sure that the legs are all engaged onto the flywheel. And then I'll use a wrench to tighten the puller until the flywheel pops free. And it's rarely that easy. Now I'll demonstrate how to remove the flywheel using a hammer and screwdriver. First, I'll take the nut that I previously removed and thread it back onto the shaft. I want the nut to be just flush with the top of the shaft. It's important to have the nut in place, otherwise when you hit the shaft, you'll end up mushrooming the shaft and damaging the threads. I place the screwdriver under the flywheel and apply a little bit of upward pressure. And then I'll hit the nut and shaft with the hammer until the flywheel pops free. 